the LA Auto Show. Hi guys. Um, so this is one of my interests and we're here at the LA Auto Show. So I want to show you all the uh, futuristic and electric cars. stations and our first stop would be the Audi e-tron Audi e Plug-in Q5 hybrid. Cool charging. This old cool cars. Just starting off with Audi. Oh, 
Ward's 10 best engines. Uh, it's it's right. okay. So this is Toyota Mirai uh, Hydrogen. Yep. So futuristic. Chevy. BMW Acura GMC. Look at the motor. Plugins. Oh, just plug in. Yes, looks better now compared to the i3 before. The body is better. Concept car.
it doesn't say what the range is. It has a small battery. It's free to be replaced, so I'm looking for this um, Mini Cooper Mini See, Electric. Mini it's like that. Wow, that's cute. Wow, this is the original. This classic. It's a classic Mini Cooper. Just imagine four kids and two adults. Wow. Mother and father, and then that's four kids. But mainly three. But I like the Mini Cooper electric though. This is convertible. The 
Denali SUV. and futuristic. Infinity really 
was the front line for these kind of technologies to make it, we had this view to inspire what's possible. It did inspire the comfort perspective and the technology perspective. Because you notice these side mirrors aren't even mirrors. They're cameras that get projected on the on the display. But again, it's a fully with our VC turbo engine that's available in the Infinity QX50. It is a truly one of the kind vehicle that is constantly transitioning between a high compression and low compression ratio that gives you the power of the V6 with the full time of the force on And we were very excited to, to showcase that last year and we announced the use of the concept 20 years ago. So you never know what could be possible in the QS inspiration. So ladies and gentlemen, please take your cars. Lincoln are big cars, right? before you even get inside. Now, with Maki, we've tested it and put it through the most demanding conditions. Rain, ice, extreme heat, you name it. The extended range version, version is targeted to deliver an EP estimated range of 300 miles on a single charge. This gives you the peace of mind to get you across or even out of town. 
And charging is easy. With 80% done at home, you'll be ready to go every day. And you can set your charge schedule to take advantage of lower electricity rates. And when you are ready to hit the road, just use our Ford Pass charging network to locate over 12,500 stations and 35,000 charging plugs. This is all paid for seamlessly through the Ford Pass app. The all electric lifestyle has never been this easy. So folks, that's just a little bit of information on our all new, all new Mustang Mach-E GT. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to ask myself. And don't forget, we have an SUV ride and drive here today, and we also have some great things outdoors, so feel free to go check those out. Thank you everyone, and welcome to Ford. Guys, whether you're into performance, pickups, crossovers, or SUVs, Ford Motor Company would like to pay you $50 to test drive your favorite Ford vehicle. How you ask? Find a product specialist in your section or over at the Mach-E Reservation Center where we can send you a voucher. Take that voucher to your local dealership between now and January 31st and you will be entitled to a $50 MasterCard upon completion of your test drive. We mail this out to you. It's no purchase or lease necessary. Just our way of saying thank you for spending your afternoon here with us at the wonderful Cars Oh yeah, I remember. The one that got leaked. It's good to cheat. Kind of tailgate for the season. Ford Rangers. Go ahead and fill it with ice. You can actually put some of your favorite beverages on the side. There's three ports on either side, so that way it'll just deploy. Now, the newest thing for the 2020 season on the exterior of the vehicle is what we call the 40-60 tailgate split. If you haven't seen how this is demonstrated, it does fold down like a dampened tailgate conventionally how it normally would. But also we've added a little split into it, so it's a 40-60, so go ahead and pull that tab. That will allow the gate to open just like that, and the other side will open just like that. The gate's closer access to the bed of the truck if you're loading, towing, hauling, putting anything into it. It's kind of a nice feature. Another option is the step, so you can easily deploy the step if you need to get closer access or even lift yourself into the bed of the truck. Use the gate, and that actually is a staircase to get into the bed of the truck, which is kind of a cool feature as well. Of course, we've added more luxury, more technology, more capability, more towing, more hauling, all of that. And of course, being the Motor Trend Truck of the Year for 2019, we're now also back-to-back -back winners with the Motor Trend Truck of the Year for the Heavy Duty Series. That's the 25 and 3500s that you see the trophy on. All of the vehicles here are Motor Trend Truck winners. If you guys have any other questions about the vehicle, you want to see how things are displayed, I'm happy to demonstrate them for you. Otherwise, you can talk to the knowledgeable product specialist. They are the ladies and gentlemen walking around on the floor with their iPads. They're also your ticket to winning $70,000 towards any of our FCA products. We do this drawing every year when we come to the show. All you have to do is talk to one of them. Tyra's right there if you want to talk to her. Sign up for the 70. It's used on any vehicle. So you can use it on a Ram, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, Fiat, all of the brands. This vehicle currently as it sits is the top trim level in the 1500 series. It's going to be around $71,000 as it sits. So that's a pretty reasonable price for a mid size Jeep. Um, if you do have any other questions, feel free to talk. I like this type of Jeep. Test drive available for you until the talk today. You want to take a test drive in the The Wrangler. As well as the limited to the outside. But enjoy the rest of your time here. And thanks for being here. What is it? Yeah. Is this the one that goes on the Tesla campaign? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
red body paint color as well as a black roof option to complete the look. Now inside also there's a complete transformation that's going on. You'll see that there are new leather and cloth sport seats. There's also a new flat bottom steering wheel with Alcantara inserts and paddle shifting. The instrument cluster brow is also adorned in Alcantara and the cluster itself has new and improved graphics for a more enhanced driving experience. You'll also see that the headlinings and pillars on the inside are now dark in order to complement the exterior dark accents on the outside. There's also aluminum pedal covers and new sport floor mats to finish the look. Now under the hood, there's a 1.3 liter direct injection turbocharged four cylinder engine. That's Sophia. That goes 177 horsepower. Cute. No, you know how to be your arm. No, we have to
with their outdoor setup. Dad, I can Turbo and the other one's just a uh, regular. Too many buttons. It's a lot of buttons. Wow.
mean, you guys are close to all your business. Second, today is the second day, the 23rd, and it will be until December 1. So, if you want to see all the cool cars, um, come here. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> 